First question, uh, and keep your hands up long enough for me to, to, to remember where you were. So two, three, four, let's stop right there and go later. Go ahead, Sam. Thank you. You come, uh, there's been a lot of talk about legitimacy of the Syrian regime. I want to know what legitimacy your regime has, sir. You come before us, representative of one of the most autocratic, misogynistic regimes on the face of the earth. Um, uh, Human Rights Watch and other reports of torture, detention of activists. You squelched the democratic uprising in Bahrain. You tried to overturn the democratic uprising in Egypt, and indeed you continue to oppress your own people. What legitimacy does your regime have other well, than let it be billions let it be of dollars, dollars and weapons? Sam, let him answer. Would you like to come and speak here? No. Would you like to come and speak here, give a speech? I, try to answer that question. I will try my best, sir. Well, sir, I don't know if you've been to the kingdom or not. Have you what been to the? You have, have you been to the kingdom? What legitimacy does your regime have? Obviously, your own people. Yes. Obviously, you haven't. No, you did not respond. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I advise anybody who has these questions to come to the kingdom and see for themselves. I don't need to justify my country's legitimacy. We are participants in all of the international organizations, and we contribute to the welfare of people through aid programs, not just directly from Saudi Arabia, but through all the international aid agencies that are working throughout the world to provide help and support for people. We admit, as I said, that we have many challenges inside our country, and those challenges we're hoping to address. And we reform by evolution, as I said, and not by revolution. So that is the, the, the way that we are leading. By admitting that we have shortcomings, not only do we recognize those shortcomings, but hopefully put in place uh, actions and programs that will overcome these shortcomings. I mentioned the fact that when he calls Saudi Arabia a misogynistic country, that women in Saudi Arabia can now not only vote, but also participate as candidates in elections and be members of the uh, Shura Council. And I'll just refer you to your own experience with your women's rights. When did your women get the right to vote? After how many years? since the establishment of the United States.